So yeah, it's basically follow along this grim thing in its industrial glory. And with luck, it'll get me to Commander Shea's Boulevard. One of these days I'll need to figure out who the illustrious gentleman was. Must have been some kind of war here. There's shoes of a fisherman's wife. And it would figure they are some jive ass slippers. Another roar of the red line is fairly emphatic, filling this Grand Neponset estuary like some sort of industrial band in an amphitheater. And the fine salt tang to the air seals the deal, however industrial and grim it may otherwise be. <laughs> Good old rotten Boston. <laughs> Good old rotten Quincy. <laughs> no armed guards have come out to accost me. I guess that's something. To the fabulous Boston skyline and the famous painted propane tank or whatever kind of gas it is. Ain't it fantastic? And then, of course, we're along the illustrious Quincy side. A city built of granite business, quarrying. And this. Boston Scientific Facility is massive and terrifying. It's like the tide's going out. When I arrived earlier, it looked like it was full in. Well, it would appear that my simple-minded dead reckoning stunt was reasonably astute. There you have a section of the marsh that I walk along the other bridge of coming in here, so I have to close the circle. If I were more ambitious than I am, I'd even walk along the strand for a while and see if I can figure out an inlet point to the road, which is just over there. But I'm not that ambitious. I'm old. I'm very lazy. <laughs> this is definitely an outstanding habitat, despite all the miserable shit that the people around here have done to it over the years. This is the general area where Whitey Bulger buried several of his victims, the, including the two Debras. So the poor place has just been getting stomped by moron humans for a pitifully long time. Now, where do we go from here? Oh, it looks like there's a I mean, they put crushed rock along this. They must have extracted 
with some kind of trail walk creation concession from Boston Scientific when they put up the facility. <clears throat> so this would be the the Ponset River Walk trail segment that's indicated back at the Squanum Point parking lot. It is pretty killer. Take a bike on it, no problem. <clears throat> Walk it. The vast extended vistas of the undammed and majestic, if demure, the ponds and estuary here all around. And the constant reminder set here in, in a city, what with the red line barrelassing over the bridge. And you can even see a distant blue hills through the mist right there. That's a great blue hill. Ah, yeah, nice. So I'll just, oh yeah, and there's Commander Shea's splendid boulevard. I just barrel ass down this thing. Go that ways away, and I'm home free. Looks like there's kind of a working vernacular trail network along this stuff for low tide exploration as well. Killer. So I've rounded the bend. <coughs> Looking over the marsh segment. Enjoying this fine little rock dust path. Lots of bayberry. See all the little berries? They're waxy, the white stuff on my fingers. Wax. And the colonials used to just take kettles of these things, and boil off the wax, and make their early simple candles. So there you have one of the early foundations of the local subsistence economy. So that's the way we came from. And it eventually brings you back to the Squanum Point parking lot. And this is the way we're going for our delightful reunion with Commander Shea Boulevard. And there you can see kind of a cove. Down in that other area, I looked earlier and saw egrets. So various large bird species aren't really having a problem with the, the human scene. <laughs> Little shorebirds plying their trade down below. <laughs> There's where we rejoin. So that's the outlet. Right there. This must be Bill getting out of work. <laughs> <laughs> 